For the third time in four years, the Blue Streaks were all smiles, winning the league championship. But one smile was missing. Matt Crozier was a standout on the J.C. basketball team, an all-OAC post player playing for two seasons. But on January 5th of last year, Matt passed away at the age of 20 after an accidental fall on New Year's Day in Philadelphia. So this season, each time the team hit the floor, it was about more than wins and losses. It was about remembering their teammate and friend. Before every game, I have a little um, his card from the funeral home, and I uh, always say something to the team and to myself, just remember that one of our teammates, one of our good friends up there looking down on us. Matt was one of my best friends, he was, and when everything happened last year, um, I don't know if we really realized what the, the magnitude of it, and as time kind of went on, we just kept thinking, thinking like, yeah, I mean, imagine what it would be like if he was here, like how good we would be, and um, he's taking each day with the, I mean, it's been tough, but everyone's came together and we've helped each other get through it. One way they did was to honor him. As a tribute to Crozier, his number 50 jersey was worn by a different senior for each game. We thought it would be a uh, good uh, tradition for us to start here with, you know, with Matt, um, just being our state seniors, you know, switching off every game, wearing number 50, and you know, it's an honor to wear number 50 the way he did. You do feel a little extra motivated to you know, do something extra that game, whether it be a hustle play, make an extra shot, or just you know, pick up a teammate or something like that. The first time we did this was down in the case tournament, and it just so happened that Matt's mom was in attendance for the game, so it was really touching to see her emotionally just because we were honoring her son. As a lasting tribute to Matt, early last fall, Crozier's family funded the money to have the team's locker room rebuilt in his honor. A plaque on the outside in remembrance of him. On the inside, larger lockers with seats along with a TV. The family, just outstanding uh, people. He was, he was part of our family, you know, you don't, uh, you don't forget family. He's the type of kid you'd like to see your daughter bring home, really. I mean, that's the kind of young man and the family that he came from. It's a sad story, but, um, you know, hopefully, you know, the lessons we learned in that uh, will carry over and make these kids even more successful. While Matt isn't in the team picture, you get the feeling in some way he is and will be a teammate of these guys forever.